The trend of Hollywood remakes continues this week. Point Break, Highlander, and Footloose are all coming, while this one is a remake of a 1971 film that was originally a 1969 novel. James Marsden portrays David Sumner, a screenwriter who goes with his wife Amy, portrayed by Kate Bosworth, back to her hometown in Mississippi with the intention of preparing her late father's home for sale. Amy, a former cheerleader, has become something of a local celebrity since moving away. Her former boyfriend and quarterback, Charlie, is hired to do the repairs to the house. Now, True Blood fans will recognize Charlie. He's being portrayed by Alexander Skarsgård. David is basically a fish out of water while Kate tries to feel more at home. Charlie and his crew, who were his high school football teammates, are all the good old boy types who look at women as objects and are very territorial. This film develops the tension between the locals and who they see as outsiders extremely well. Now, it's one thing to come into town and think you're too good for the people who live here. I don't know why you'd say that. I, I but, wouldn't. But being too good for God, that's another thing entirely. This is a violent and at times very disturbing film that also plays on some stereotypes of people from the Deep South. In comparison to the original 1971 Sam Peckinpah film, the violence and tension are right on par. The original version was so violent that in Britain it received an X rating and was banned from several theaters. The fact that this one has no such issues shows very well how much we as a society has changed in the last 40 years. Now there are only a couple noticeable differences from the original version. First, being moved from rural England to Mississippi. And second, David changing from a mathematician to a screenwriter. That aside, Rod Lorre, who directed this version, stayed true to the story. This is one that you definitely should not take the kids to. Excessive violence as well as graphic sexual assault are keys to the storyline. I give this three and a half out of five tickets. For Fox Movie Night, I'm Mike Emery.